Good evening, I'm Maureen Bunyan. And I'm Gordon Peterson. And there are innovative treatments for the repetitive motion injuries that affect everyone from athletes to expectant mothers. Our medical and science report ahead. What do athletes, artists, office workers, and expectant mothers have in common? They're prone to injury. Innovative treatments are being devised to help people to overcome the injuries and chronic pain that have taken them out of action. Medical and science reporter Bob Alfitch has the story. It's been nearly three years since George Kennard injured his back. It happened as he was leaving work. The elevator he was riding in fell three floors. And all of a sudden, all the lights went off inside of the elevator cab, and the cab uh, started to accelerate. And it smashed into the bottom of the pit. And I was kind of went rigid and then went back against the wall and really didn't think anything was the matter with me. Until he started driving home. Since then, the pain has been nearly constant. Now, following surgery, Kennard is working to recover the strength and mobility he used to take for granted. That means long hours of exercise and progress by increments. It's pretty hard, um, but it's the most important thing in my life. And main goal is to try to get as uh, much function back as I used to have. At the National Rehabilitation Hospital's outpatient center in Bethesda, back injuries and the chronic pain that accompanies them are the most common complaints. Many of the patients are on disability, unable to work. Here they're put to work so they can function again. We want people to be actively engaged in the therapy. Uh, we introduce ourselves as their coaches and we tell them, well, you're now an industrial athlete and you need to get back to the working field and consider yourself an athlete and do the things that an injured athlete would do to get back to playing. The center's second largest group of patients are those who suffer from repetitive motion injuries, often from the hours spent at word processors. Their injuries are similar to those suffered by musicians. Most of the musicians come here with basically overuse injuries. They play the fiddle for eight hours a day or quite often longer, do very repetitive motions for a long period of time. Well, the body is not really designed to do that kind of activity nonstop. The people on the computer have come in with very similar problems. For George Kennard, the therapy he's receiving has already given him hope of a future without pain. I can just feel life coming back into my body and I, for the first time, and since uh, the accident almost, I see light at the end of the tunnel. Whether it's 100% of the light or partial, uh, anything will be an improvement over how I've lived over the past two years. Bob Alfage, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.